Well, it's Monday. It's start of another week. I felt like I moved this week, just gone from my house to my taxi because I seem to spend more time in there than I did in my own four walls. All good though, really good. All I can say about today is I'm at home. Thank. <laughs> How do everyone welcome to the channel for a Monday hope you're doing all right your weekend's gone okay let me know below what you've been up to also give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that as well as every little helps as the advert says well you can see behind me my garden instead of the M25 which I've been looking at for well seems like an eternity even though it's been a week things have pretty much returned to normal at the moment with my business so it's all good Speaking of the M25, that bloody Insulate Britain lot tried it again this morning. I think they might have had some success a little bit further around Hertfordshire Way, but they tried to have a go at the Dartford Crossing and Kent Police were having none of it. They stomped on it straight away due to a report given and 12 people were, were arrested. They're still in custody by all accounts and I hope they bloody stay there, insulated in a dark, damp, horrible little cell and not let out for the rest of the year. But knowing the liberal kind of manby pamby police that we have, they'll be out by tea time. Shame of it, and they'll try it again, emboldened as always. Well, sad weekend, wasn't it? John Chalice passed away uh, for, from cancer at the age of 79. Very, very sad. Bowl accounts, very, very lovely man. And I, I saw on uh, Twitter, Sue Holderness, obviously, Marlene, left a... Uh, Lovely tribute to him, obviously worked with him for the better part of 40 years and so many fans of his on there putting uh, various tributes and uh, pictures of where they met the guy and had nothing but lovely things to say. So what a, what a warm tribute to him. Did any of you ever meet him? Uh, any experience? Let me know below. He'll always be, of course, remembered for Only Fools and Horses and Boise, uh, the green, green grass and later on Benidorm, and apparently he was in Last of the Summer Wine for a ta uh, for an episode as well, which I never knew about. Back in the 80s, when they uh, filmed the uh, Jolly Boys outing, you know the scene where Rodney bounced the football off the, off the police officer's head and he ended up getting nicked. Well, the police station locally around here that they filmed all that outside of was Broadstairs and my old man was stationed there at the time and he got to meet them all in the 80s. Uh, absolutely lovely blokes, he said. And of course, we lost Jimmy Greaves as well. Arguably one of the best football strikers this country's ever had. I'm not old enough to actually remember him playing. I, I was born in 78, so I'm a wee whippersnapper in comparison. But I remember St. and Greavesy uh, growing up in, in St. John and Jimmy Greaves, obviously. In St. John, is no longer in the Zebra. But uh, a sad, sad weekend for fans of various things. Uh, let me know your memories below. Anyway, I'm uh, going to go and have some breakfast. As I say, it's been an eventful week and an Akron weekend. I'll be back along a little bit later with some more stuff for you. Take care, everybody. This is a Gabby Cabby for now, signing off. Toodaloo.